Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Zebra Slot Canyon in Escalante, Utah. When we did this hike last year, there was neck deep water which was about 5 feet deep and the water was 35 degrees. So we decided not to go all the way through it and this time we're going to take you through the trail as we begin the Slot Canyon all the way to the end of it. This hike is about 5.2 miles round trip and the hardest part of it is once you reach the beginning of the slot canyon. As you go through the slot canyon the walls get a lot tighter on each side of you. The zebra spot doesn't actually start until you get 300 to 500 feet into the canyon but first you have to wedge your body up or across the water to get through the hardest part of it to reach the zebra stripes. Some people choose to leave their packs at the beginning of the slot canyon just because uh, they're hard to fit in some of the areas, but some people can bring them with as long as you can hand them off to a friend. So as you can see here, it's very tight in some areas, not a lot of foot space. And this is the part here where it gets interesting. As you can see, down the bottom, there's water. And we didn't realize that it was only about knee-deep water at the time. In some videos, we had seen over waist-deep water, so we decided to shimmy across above it by putting our feet on one side and our hands on the other. And we just had to go through probably a 20 to 30 foot section and get across the water. It is very cold year-round. The water doesn't get a lot of sun, so the water always stays cold. And then as it rains and snows, more water gets into the Slot Canyon. One of the hardest parts if you choose to do it this way is getting down to the bottom once you reach the end. You have to slide down about 6 to 10 feet depending on how high up you go with the water level. And so there are certain areas where you can push your butt into the rock and then just brace your feet at the bottom and push your arms out to each side to brace your body and then you just slide down to the ground and keep wiggling through the slot canyon. the water there's just a small section that you have to wiggle your way through and then you finally made it the zebra slot canyon section is probably only 40 feet long enough to only have two other people there when we were going on the hike so we didn't have to deal with waiting in a line to get into the slot canyon so we were able to hang out in there for about 15 minutes and then it started snowing so we decided to leave and once again the hardest part is getting out of the main zebra slot But 
things you'll see coming up. We decided to walk through the water going out just to see how deep it was. 